So what our school wanted to do was we wanted to provide some sort of quantitative uh, and yet I suppose balanced basis for uh, comparing our research I suppose with other universities in our discipline both at home and, and abroad and, and what we did was uh, we ended up uh, assessing a variety of things uh, not just bibliometric analysis but also things like uh, uh, research students, uh, research projects, uh, postdoctoral staff, research funding and, and all sorts of other things like technological innovation like software. And from the bibliometric point of view because it made it easier in our case because in our discipline uh, the publications are basically mainly ISI uh, sort of uh, uh, publications. What it meant is that we could more or less do an ISI analysis which is relatively straightforward. Although in some cases because of non-standard maybe the minority of publications are outside of ISI we went for Scopus or sometimes and it seems almost we're not I'm not clearly sure what the reasons are for this but more applied areas of research it seems they're out width of ISI, you know, maybe conference volumes and so on. So we, we would look at those for that purpose. And then having basically sort of done that, our basic analysis is we'd sort of assess the numbers of publications and the citations of publications for each member of staff. And we'd, we'd then take a subset of that for the last 10 and a half years. And, and the reason we do for the last 10 and a half years is the sort of standard uh, statistics which are generated by Thompson's using I think it's their essential science indicators for the last ten and a half years so we could take our data and then we could compare it with other universities and most importantly other disciplines within other universities and, and, and show really how our research output was comparing at least from the citation sort of point of view um, and to allow us to be able to compare properly of course we had to normalize things because we're a small department and it, there's no way that our citations in total would compare with those of a very large department. So it was normalised by staff number. And, and then we could compare our citation returns with, with other universities in Ireland or, or in the UK. And, and because, of course, the UK has the RAE, we could then compare ourselves with departments which are graded uh, in a, using a peer review system, which is obviously more discriminating, and, and see how we fared compared to them. And, and in so doing, we, we ended up arriving at something which I suppose the system would value in the sense that we're assessing ourselves in, in quantitative means, although it's, it's only one form of assessment. And um, it could be used then as a complement with other indicators uh, just to show that we're, we're doing a good job.